what it might uh -oh, be. Oh, <laughs> that's a big hint, not a little hint. It's a big hint. So if you know us here at Hippocrates, Brian, what are we the biggest fans of here? Wheatgrass. As a matter of fact, back in the 1950s, our founder healed herself of stage four cancer in great part with wheatgrass and the juice of wheatgrass and popularized that. Nutrient properties that do become medicine when we incorporate them into our diet. Tell your doc he better learn about this. One thing that is plaguing most people in the world, which is high cholesterol. How smart are you about what you swallow? We want to give you a little bit of a hint. It reduces people's memory. It may or may not directly be linked to heart attacks or strokes. That's wild. Welcome to Ingredient IQ. Brian Clement here, Hippocrates Wellness. And my name is Lindsay Johnson, and today we are bringing to you Ingredient IQ. Do you know, all of us complicate life all so much. We work hard to confuse ourselves and to make everything very difficult. On this show, what we do is simplify things and show you things in your own cabinet, in your own refrigerator that you can actually use to prolong your life, to prevent disease, and most important, to reverse disease. And we are so excited about this episode. We're going to start it off with a little riddle like we like to do here. And it starts by saying, uh, blank contains a number of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and vital enzymes. These play an important role in the anti-cancer approach of this herbal product. It's also called green blood because of its high content of chlorophyll, which bears a structural similarity to hemoglobin, and this is a result of the high oxygen supply to our body's tissues. So we're going to give you a little hint on what it uh -oh, might be. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's a big hint, not a little hint. It's a big hint. So if you know us here at Hippocrates, Brian, what are we the biggest fans of here? Wheatgrass. As a matter of fact, back in the 1950s, our founder healed herself of stage four cancer in great part with wheatgrass and the juice of wheatgrass and popularized that. So over the entire last several decades, that's been one of the most popular health foods. You find it in health stores, juice bars, et cetera. And you know, what's remarkable is that as the research mounts, and there is, as you and I pointed out, when we so look much. up the research on this, anyone that doesn't think that this is scientifically supported really, really just spend a moment. <laughs> this is anti-cancer, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. It's anti-everything except anti-life. It's pro-life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to jump right into it. So something that's really interesting, this study just came out this year. Um, oral squamous cell carcinoma is the sixth most common cancer worldwide and is one of the le leading causes of death, especially in developing countries like India. And in a recent study, 41.4% of cancer cell inhibition was observed in some wheatgrass in just 24 hours. Yeah, can you imagine that? You almost by half wipe out the cancer that's plaguing a lot of the world out there. And why they have that cancer, by the way, is the bacteria mm. that they're getting from their so-called foods out there in the world. Yeah, and uh, this is just one of the most nutrient-dense foods, and that's why we love it here so much at Hippocrates. And like Brian just said, I mean, the research is out there, and you don't have to take our word for it. I mean, you can go on Google Scholar today, you can get free access to all these articles that we reference, and you can find out this information for yourself, which I think is amazing. It is amazing. The amazing part is that the purity of nature will never ever be rivaled by the intellect of man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, so wheatgrass is high in oxygen like all green plants that contain chlorophyll. Uh, the brain and all the body's tissues function at an optimal level in a highly oxygenated environment. So Brian, tell us a little bit more about this highly oxygenated environment. Well, you have to understand when we were kids, we learned something called photosynthesis. Mm. And photosynthesis is where the sun comes down and the green plant captures it. And that's where we convert the oxygen in the plant, and we put out into what? The world more and more breathing 
molecules. And you and I are alive because of that. But we also absorb carbon. Mm -hmm. It does exactly the same thing in your body. So it takes the bad guys out, puts the oxygen in, and we see it. So our medical team, we do blood tests when people arrive here and when they're leaving, and it's just absolutely every time, every case, no exception universally, that we increase hemoglobin levels, which are made by HEMS and actually are the support behind the red blood cell. Wow, it's, it's such an amazing food and it doesn't stop there. So for, for those of you who are just, you know, you're into this plant-based lifestyle for, it's okay, we can say it, the vanity aspect vanity, of it. Vanity, you mean I there's, mean, in, not you, you wouldn't do No, that. no, no, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to be young forever. But uh, so drinking wheatgrass uh, juice for skin problems, it can help in such great ways, especially if you have problems with eczema or psoriasis. Um, you can even apply it to those areas of the body as well as we teach here at Hippocrates. Uh, it can help keep your hair from graying and a small amount of wheatgrass juice in the human diet actually helps to prevent tooth decay. You bet it does because it's antibacterial as we said. But the most important thing, we see about five to eight people a year here on average their hair that's completely white or in great part white starts to come back dark within the three week time that they're here on the wow. campus in the life transformation program. The other thing what we talked about was incredibly important. It's, this is actually a youth serum, mm. a serum that keeps people young as hell. You don't realize I'm 283 years <laughs> old. <laughs> Not quite, but 70 is good enough at this point. And we actually have people apply this on their face. Now, you don't keep it on your face for long. You put it on, it actually brings blood flow there. Remember, when we age, when we get wrinkles, when we start to look tired, it's because blood stops going to that incredible membrane, that skin, and that's the largest organ in the body. The other thing you have to know about it, it's anti, it's sterilization. So it's antimicrobial completely. Mm. It kills bad things. So I know when I get off planes and I happen to be in a place where I can go to a juice bar, before I even get to the hotel, I'll take wheatgrass, drink some of it, and then rub some on my face. And it's a little weird when I get into an Uber and the guy looks at me. But it doesn't matter because at least <laughs> my face will be healthier. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No green face judgment here. Um, so this is something that's long known in the world of wheatgrass and of science that chlorophyll rebuilds the bloodstream. Studies from um, various areas have shown that chlorophyll is going to help with any kind of toxic reaction. The red blood cell count um, will return to normal within four to five days of the administration of chlorophyll. Um, and then that anemia or low blood cell count will end up being restored. Absolutely, you know, this is the main thing we do. People come here who are super athletes, Olympic act athletes, uh, movie stars, normal people, and people fighting catastrophic disease. And we've had hundreds of thousands of people through our programs here on campus for the last 65 years. And what we do is in every case, we try to build the strength of that bloodstream. Remember, the bloodstream is not only red blood cells, but it's the entire immune system. And if you can get those two things working, that's who you are. By the way, quantitatively, that's exactly what we're measuring. And also your two-thirds bacteria. For every one cell you have in your body, you have 10 bacteria. Mm. And so if you can keep those bacteria healthy by keeping really fresh, clean types of food in your body like wheatgrass, it's just stunning how nature supports you and keeps you young, vital, and actually reverses aging and disease. It is amazing. Uh, another study talks about how wheatgrass is the superior detoxifying agent um, compared to all the other juices out there. So your carrot juice, your other fruits and vegetables. And one of the things that we love to reference here is uh, actually from Dr. Thomas, who was an associate of Ann Wigmore. And that's how 15 pounds of wheatgrass is equivalent to 350 pounds of all the other freshest vegetables. Yeah, that's right. So two ounces, that's about that big. Uh, literally is like five pounds of fresh organic vegetables that you pull from your organic garden and eat or juice. Now, can you imagine? So you need this much juice mm -hmm. in the case of other common and popular ones for this much. And start small. Start with two or three drops and four drops because it's so detoxifying. Yeah. 
it's so cleansing, it's overwhelming, it's a tsunami of life and oxygen into mm -hmm. the bloodstream. So you want to go slow but sure. And if you can, work your way up to two ounces twice a day. The other thing you have to understand is we don't only apply this on our skins and orally take it, but we have inventive ways to use it internally. And boy, what that does is just on Believable. You've seen what it does, haven't you? I mean, it's amazing. You, you want to be clean and healthy on the outside and the inside. I mean, wheatgrass, it has a spot for you. You bet it does. <laughs> this is it. I think this has gotten the number one award for what we've been talking about. And if you can find something as good as wheatgrass, let us know because I don't think it exists on the planet Earth. Maybe when we move to Mars, we'll find it there. Maybe, maybe when we <laughs> move to Mars. Um, so yeah, so wheatgrass helps with all these different things from anemia to cancer to asthma, allergies, um, and different kinds of bowel disease helps as well. And so it really is such an amazing superfood. It's um, been one of the lifebloods through our own program here at Hippocrates uh, since the very beginning. And, and Brian, to what you said just a moment ago, it's, you know, there's so much nutrients, so many nutrients in such a small amount. So if you're a lazy person and you don't want to eat that many vegetables, it takes too long and this and that, I mean, we recommend start with some wheatgrass. Oh, you're not kidding. The guests tell us that that's where the hunger goes away. That's where they're not overeating. That's where they feel calm. They sleep better. They feel more relaxed. The magnesium that's in it alone just calms the neurological system and the, and the muscles of the body. I have never seen a food, you know, we have that marketing word that Americans obviously came up with, superfood. This is superior food. Forget yes. soup. Superfoods back in the 80s and 90s. Back in the day, this is superior. Boring. This is 2040 mm. stuff we're talking about now. So till next week, you make sure that you find the things in your life that are the most important. And the most important things are very obvious. They are. And we'll see you next time on Ingredient IQ.